Wait, where am I? Wait. The next stop is this isn't Shibuya. Why is there an ocean here? This isn't Shibuya. This looks a little bit more like... Tatsumi Port Island. They sent me back. They sent me back. No! Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else in between, this is Kagato, and I am the final boss, and welcome to Persona 3 Reload, and I am super excited for this. Persona 3 has been a very important game to me. It is not my favorite, that would be Persona 4, but 3 is what introduced me to the series, and it's also the game that I did a Let's Play of, my very first real let's play on this channel that garnered any kind of attention whatsoever so now almost a full decade later actually probably a little bit longer than that maybe like 11 years or so we are now back we've come full circle and i couldn't be more excited so let's go on ahead and get ourselves into it but before i do that i am going to first address everybody both new and old so if you're new here first of all Hi, welcome to the chaos and shenanigans. Hopefully I'll be able to entertain you out through, uh, throughout the entire gameplay of uh, this Let's Play. And uh, I wanted to let you all know that while I have played three before the original, I am going to go through this spoiler, th uh, spoiler free, as spoiler free as I possibly can. So that way I don't ruin the experience for those of you that don't know the story. However... There will be moments that I will be referencing a joke that I have possibly made when I did the original game's Let's Play. So if that happens and you're confused as to what the hell is happening, especially in regards to certain characters, I would say, uh, don't worry too much about it. Uh, it will be few and far between, and I will just continue on as if this is a full blind Let's Play that I will react to in kind as its own standing thing. So I will try not to uh, meta so much, as it were. And for those of you that are returning, welcome back. Glad to see you here. I hope that this will be a fresh new experience for you versus how it was when I originally played this game a good decade ago. Now, 
that out of the way. Let us begin. So, as per always, because I'm not doing any kind of hard mode challenges or nor do I want this to be too much of a cakewalk, we're gonna leave this on normal. I do have all the costumes, all the DLC stuff, and the music, so I will be using them on occasion, uh, just for fun. However, I don't want to remove the identity of Persona 3, so it'll be fun to use them every now and then, but I won't be going into, like, the Phantom Thieves costumes from start to finish. Even though I guess is wearing the Haru costume, and Mitsuru is wearing the Makoto costume. <laughs> it's like, <"Ugh!" laughs> Okay, but, uh, moving on, start, here we go, boombox butterfly, hello. Time waits for no one. All are equal in its flow, all lives born to their ends. You who would protect the glimmer of the finite future. You have a single year. Go forth and live in the time given to you. Even in these halcyon days of repose, let your heart guide you and never stray from its path. Now, I will mostly be staying silent when cutscenes like this are going on. I'm only speaking now, mostly to just say that part. <laughs> so with that, we'll watch this until its end. I arrived so late. I better hurry up. Iwatodai dorm. That's where I'll be staying from now on. Should be just up ahead. <laughs> I like, I, I, I still like the fact it is now the dark hour. He got off the train. There isn't a soul in sight. And he is walking around under this green sky moonlight with blood puddles and coffins. And is barely reacting to any of it. <laughs> it's like, oh well, this is kind of peculiar. Well, don't they know that Halloween's already over? They haven't cleaned up everything. Jeez. Oh well, that's odd. Looks like everyone's asleep. <laughs> Seriously, there's coffins everywhere. There's even blood dripping off of the sides, and <gasps> I have found the oasis in this desert of blood and death. Wild duck burger! Too bad I can't go inside. There are several objects that look like coffins inside the store. Well then, they can't stop me from just taking this bag right here. <laughs> Did someone forget their meal? Not my problem, yoink! Mine now! Wild duck burger. 
Oh, I wonder where everyone is. Oh, hi, Mr. Coffin. Anyway, this is awfully strange. Is this normal for Tatsumi Port Island? Did I miss a festival or something? It's not Halloween anymore. Hmm. Uh, Iwatonai Dorm. I guess this is it. And so we set foot inside the place that will be our home for the next year. Persona 3 Reload. Hello! I think I missed out on the vampire convention that you all had going on outside. Welcome. God damn it, no! You again! I've tried to shut you out of my mind, but here you are! Huh? You're late. No! I've been waiting a long time. Stop doing that, please! I'm already dealing with the coffins and the blood and the green! You don't have to go around acting like a ghost! Uh. And you literally just teleport in front of my eyes. If hey, you, you can wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. Did you even really move at all? I think you're in the same place you were before. Maybe two feet. Can you literally not just walk steps? You have to teleport everywhere. Ah. There's no need to be scared. I'm starting to become more annoyed than scared. All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions. Well, I mean, I am used to pinning the blame on other people, but I suppose if I have to live here, then... Fine, I'll play by your rules for now, little prison boy. I hereby agree to the statement above, and I choose this fate of my own free. Well, got no other choice but to sign a name. Perfect. Wait. No, wait. There's something wrong here. Hold on. Ah, that's better. Sorry, I had a bit of a typo there. Did I spell that correctly? Yes, go with this. Uh, just do me a favor and uh, don't tell Igor. He might have an aneurysm when he sees his name again. Good. Why did you say it that way, or now clutching it to your chest? What did I sign? I didn't even read the contract fully! What did I do? Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. Ha! Joke's on you! I will do just that very thing when I know that I'm on my way out. Just to spite you. Ha! And so, it begins. It does truly, doesn't it, mysterious boy? Show off, I could do that too if I wanted to. Just to feel like it. Who's there? Oh! Hi! Yukari, hi! What's up? What's going on? Nice to see you. How are you here at this hour? Uh, funny story, I took the train, and then I walked here. I know, it's a rather unbelievable story. Don't tell me. Uh, whoops, I kinda already did. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so... Wait! Wait, no, no, I wanna see where this goes! Oh. Huh? Yes, the lights. Yes, the horrible, horrible lights. Well, it is what it is. Anyway, about the, uh, gun. The lights. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Yes, nice to see you again, Mitsuru. I mean, uh, uh, first time. Yes, first time ever. Uh, nice to meet you, Mitsuru. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boy's dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. Uh, this is Yukari Takeba. Yeah, I, I'm like right here. You can just... Uh, uh, that's fine. <laughs> anyway, yes! Uh, hi again, Yukari. I mean, uh, uh, again, uh, first time. Right. Uh, nice to meet you, Yukari. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Call me Takeba. Well, <clears throat> that's right, first time. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll call you, uh, 
Dummy Mommy and Sporty Girl. Nice to meet you. Why do you have a gun? Huh? Well, uh, it's sort of like a hobby. You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. The correctness of that statement could be more true, considering what's gonna happen. It's not a real gun, of course. It's still gonna work just as well! It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Nice service. My stuff arrives ahead of me, gets put inside my room, and I get escorted by room. Yukari. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. Um, do you have any questions? Hmm. What's that contract for, and does that kid live here too? Yeah, I saw a spooky kid that was acting like a ghost that was dressed up in this, you know, prison attire. Have you seen him around? What kid? You know, right at the front, maybe sign a contract, acting all spooky, talking about death. What are you talking about? Come on, that's not funny. You're right. It's not. Yukari doesn't seem to know what I'm talking about. In a lot of ways, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Uh, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? It's pretty normal to me, I'd say. Huh. Well, okay. Don't worry about it then. Good! I won't. I literally haven't since I got off the train. I'd better get going. Um... Yes? I'm sure you still have questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Oh, I've got a bazillion questions. Uh, well, that's okay. You're right. Save them for later. Good night. Good night. And so we are back in our room once more. Life in the dorm starts today. The room came pre-furnished and everything. I'm spent. I should put my things in the closet and get to bed early. Saving the game progress! Well, saving is possible whenever that button is displayed on the screen. Okay. Uploading save data to the network. Okay, so basically cloud saving. Rewinding to a previous- WHAT?! Oh, I'm sorry, what?! When you save your game, it also saves a little bit of your past. You can go back to that time by opening the menu with triangle, going to system and selecting rewind! So I don't have to use fucking Game Genie to try and mend my relationship with Yuko? Well, wait, no, I think that whole situation, I had to go back several fucking weeks. So I don't know if this one's gonna allow me to go that far. But still, I think that's kind of hilarious that before I had to literally fucking cheat to fix something, and here they're offering something built in to kind of help with that. So if I decide to completely ruin my relationship with Yuko, which probably will happen again. Then at the very least, I can just reload and go back a bit and prevent myself from being a dumb. This game, this, this, this feature right here is exactly for people like me. The really stupid people. <laughs> Note that rewind function does not save your new starting point automatically. If you use this function, make sure you continue to save your game as necessary. What was the middle one? When you select a rewind slot, you will be returned to a point where you could roam freely shortly before you save the game. Okay, so it's really not that far at all. Basically, the first, um, or the most recent moment that you can move around freely, as it said. 
All right. Well, it's not too. Over, it's not too strong. It's not too overpowered. So I better make sure I'm saving frequently in different save slots. Yuko, I swear to God, if this happens again and you become the final boss of my social links, I'm gonna cry. Anyway, put things in my closet. Purchase DLC can be redeemed by uh, checking the closet room. Got it. And now, the desk where I will <clears throat> inevitably play an online game and woo a very, very hot teacher. Mirror? That's right. Wait, what did the mirror say? I see my tired face reflected in the mirror. Ah, joke's on you. That's how I always look. <laughs> it's time to go to bed. At least I get to go to bed on my own terms. I don't have a fucking cat telling me what to do. Those were the days. It's Takeba. Are you awake? No. Yes. Good morning. I'll be nice. She's being nice to me morning. right now. Did you sleep okay? And I gotta admit, the models look pretty good. I mean, look at that smile. It's actually a nice smile. I can't be I can't be mean to you, Kari, right now. I've been asked to show you the way to school. Are you ready to go? Ah, <sighs> yeah, I'm ready. Great, let's set out. This is how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. Oh, look, there it is now. I will say. Taking a monorail to school every day is kind of cool and everything, but going over the goddamn ocean to get there, oh, I would love that! Love the ocean! Morning! It's every single day, seeing a view like that. Oh, man. Well, here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Gecko Khan High School. I hope you like it. I will. As much as I like, like Persona 4 and 5, Gecko Khan High School is my favorite. From here, right? Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Well, which class are you in? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. That's right, that's hey, the thing. About last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? I've already forgotten. See you. See you later. Completely and utterly forgotten. Nothing happened last night at all. Won't tell a soul. Let's tell everyone I see. There's a crowd forming in front of the bulletin board. Maybe I'll take a peek before going to the faculty office. All right. Well, let's take a look. Looking around. Well, I kind of already know how to do that, so we're good. Bulletin board. My name is added on a small note off to the side. I am literally a post-it on this board. Class 2F, Kagano Jirai. Hmm? The name Yukari Takuma is also on the list. Seems that I'll be in the same class as her. Alright. Anybody here I recognize? Not you, not you. Oh! I recognize you. Hi, Kenji. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Class F, huh? He's got a voice now. Hey, all right. Homeroom teacher is... What? Miss Toriyumi? You sound disappointed. Fine, I don't care. More for me. I guess she is older than me, but... I was hoping to be with Miss Kano. Again, more for me. Yuko? 
You don't know me, but I know you. And I'm here to let you know there will be a point where I will be trying to come for you. And when that happens, don't screw with me! If you don't mind, our sanity is on the line. What? Cuz, what are you doing? Why are you wearing a jersey? I love the fact that they have voices now. Wait, I gotta go find Baby. Baby's around here somewhere, right? Uh, what do you mean, why? We've got practice after class, remember? I gotta see if he's actually French or just putting on a bad French accent. I have got to find him. Well, we've got to attend the opening ceremony and go to class before all that. Hurry and head into your classroom so you can change into your normal uniform. What? But I just... Okay, okay, fine. Just quit glaring at me. So where's the bulletin board with all the class assignments? It's literally right there, Cause. You're in class F. I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you all the time. You got that? She looks good. Her new portrait looks really good. I wasn't really a fan of how she, how her portrait was in three. In fact, there was a lot of characters whose portraits I wasn't a big fan of, but this upgrade is, this is a glow up. This is a really good glow up. I found you. I go, okay, this is gotta be, okay. <laughs> These two are just having a fucking conversation. I go on right behind fucking baby, he's so close I can practically smell his hair. Oh, I'm sorry, am I interrupting anything? Our school curriculum nurtures the samurai spirit within our students so that they contribute to society. Oh la la, how wonderful. I wish to set my soul on fire and learn the ways of the great samurai also. Boy, oh boy, does that sound so much better than the accent that I tried when I first did this. That was horrible. Anybody remember that? Boy, that was bad. That's what I like to hear, my boy. Though you hail from a foreign land, the samurai spirit burns within you all the same. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, this is be wait, if they got voices, does that mean- If they have voices- WAIT! I wonder if the social links might be voiced, or at least some of them. Ooh, if that's the case, my voice might actually take a break every now and then. Ah, it's Hero! Huh? The library? It's strange. I even made sure to check the map, but- Oh my god, she sounds so cute. Where am I? And she's lost. I'm sorry I tell you, but I don't remember where things are. <laughs> All right, who else is here, though? Oh, man, memory lane. Memory lane, baby. This seems to be the faculty office. Should I go in? Yes. Ah! Uh, <clears throat> composure, 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 composure. Wow! Oh my god, she looks so fucking good! <laughs> yes! Huh. Yeah, yes, yes, I am. Yes, new student, yes. Hi, Miss Horiyumi. Nice to see you again. Hmm. You're a second year, correct? Absolutely. 100%, I think. Maybe. Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. <laughs> yeah! You know, um... Inaba... Shibuya... Inganjaya... Here... Let's see, ten years ago, your parents... Yes, it was a terrible accident. I didn't see it coming. Such a small car. So, so many clowns. It's amazing how much impact damage a toy car can make when stuffed with 2,000 pounds of clown. 
Well, it tried to cheer me up with the balloon animal, but it popped. I cried. He cried. It was a sad, sad day. But eventually, Annie gets clowns ever since. My record's currently 19. And a half. That poor little midget of a mind didn't know what hit him. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, uh, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Uh, uh, enough about me. More about you. I'm sorry. Uh, I've been so busy. I didn't have time to read this beforehand. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm Ms. Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. <laughs> Thanks. Nice to meet you. So... What's your first name? You don't need to know my first name. Don't ask such things of a teacher. Now see, you say that now. But I can guarantee you, later on, I'm going to learn so much more about you. And you won't even know. <laughs> I got brushed off. If I got down, oh, that's right! <laughs> There's some things I simply can't. Uh, oh, if I if I had started this up with all my stats at max, or at least at an appropriate level, maybe she would have given me her first name. Oh, that's right. I'm just playing Joe Schmo right now. Ah, oh, that's fine. I'll put the moves on her later. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on, I'll show you the way. Ah, yes, the welcoming ceremony. Where we get to speak with the uh, principal if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. And so, another new school year is upon us. I'm sorry, principal. Do you have a frog in your throat? That is not the voice I expect to come out of your mouth. I mean, I know that a lot of the voice actors got changed, but I'm so used to the voice that he had in Persona 4 where he sounded like a standard old man, a senile old man. I'd like each of you to remember the problem. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Up, oh, up, oh, he said the line! He said the line! When applied to student life, this means... Uh, okay. The principal continues with the speech. What? You came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? Yeah, what of it? I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? Oh, absolutely. The closest. Now back off. What's the deal between you and her? It's on a need-to-know basis and you don't need to know. Oh. And, uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. Exactly. Need-to-know basis. But she does. Yep, it's not you. Tough luck, chum. I mean, why wouldn't she, right? Exactly. Wait. How close are you guys? Close enough for you to make a big stink about it! Who's that? Someone's talking. Ah, oh, shit! You need to shut up, man! Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. No, nope, not me! Hey, shh. Be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. You see, you're gonna get Miss Toriyumi in trouble! Already on bad terms with the teacher. What's up, dude? How's it going? And best boy has arrived! What? Don't look at me like that. Joke's on him. The way that I'm looking at him right now is actually big sparkling eyes and a big wide smile with a slight bit of mischievousness. And you are... Me? Yes, you. Call me Junpei. Junpei Yuri. I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. It's pretty tough being the new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? Yes, he is truly a nice guy. Uh, Junpei is my favorite. I, I do like Ryuji, I do like Yosuke, but Junpei is my favorite. He, out, out of those three, he is my favorite. Hello! Hey, it's Yukatan! 
didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? It's all right. It's not going to be him making me uncomfortable, I can assure you. I'll be making him feel absolutely uncomfortable. Come here, Junpei. What? I was just being friendly. Oh, uh, I'll be friendly with you later. <laughs> say what I tell you. If you say so. Anyway, who would have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? I know, it's awesome. It must be fate. You don't have to fuck. <laughs> I am going to be hindered on the things that I actually want to say. Ah! <laughs> I don't have the courage to say this right now. Maybe I could say stuff like this without hesitation if I was at least determined. Well, if anything, this is a good reason for those of you watching to play it on your own. And, you know, if you want to see what these things would lead to, raise up your stats and play it again. <laughs> Replayability. Anyway, who would have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? I'd want to say it must be fate, considering I know what's going on. Uh, but it's just because it's a quick, 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 guess. I know, but still, I was a little surprised. Um, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this blast too? Oh yeah, hi, Jinpei. Uh, sorry. Anyway, gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. Yes, we did. What of it? What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Oh, you want rumors, do you? Well, if that's the case, then... Huh? What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? That's right, Junpei. We live together. And I think that's why people will jump to conclusions. Have rumors been spreading about this already? Now oh, I'm worried. Hey. You didn't tell anyone about you know what, did you? Nonsense! I haven't told a single soul about anything yet. Uh, you know what? Don't tell me you forgot already. Wouldn't that be in your best interest if I did? Seriously, don't say anything about last night, okay? Don't worry, I won't say a thing about what happened between us last night. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What are you looking at us for that way for, huh? <laughs> I mean, come on. We walk to school together. We live in the same dorm room together. And something happened between us last night that I can't say. It's important. Don't jump to conclusions. Last night? Yeah. I tell you, it was intense. Wait a minute, don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> it was absolutely intense. Man, you should have seen how she could use that firearm. Listen, I just met him yesterday and there is absolutely nothing between us. Yet. Jeez. <laughs> I have to go now. There's something I need to take care of for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. Are you sure about that, Ikari? I think I'm the one that's causing the problems here. Ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. Uh, bit of a problem about that, Junpei. Maybe not in this game, but... Ahem. <clears throat> Persona 2, 4, and 5 would like to have a word with you about that. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here, and people are already talking about you. Excellent! I'm popular! Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man. Uh, yes. Yes, I am. I am the man, as you kids say. Well, here's to a fun school year, dude. You ready to head out? We can walk to the station together. Oh, okay. Should we also take a look around the school while we're at it? 
I'll just follow you around. And if you want to leave, head to the front entrance. All right. Well, I mean, I don't recognize anyone else in here. Yeah, everybody's kind of just generic. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, you want to go this way? Oh, huh. all right then. Oh, that's right. He's waiting up around the other side. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, Junpei. I uh, marched to the beat of my own drum. Oh, I recognize you. She, what was your name? I forgot. Had grief. And just because it's a new school here doesn't mean that students should be running wild. It's up to me to reinforce order. That is, once I've officially become a member of the disciplinary committee. You think so? You're making such a sour face again, Otagiri Kun. I guess some things never change. <laughs> I've forgotten their names. I'm so bad. Wait, wait, bathroom, bathroom's important. Down. Oh, you gotta take a leak? Oh, you gotta go, you gotta go. You wanna come with? Uh, no, I'll just wait for you out here. You're no fun. Come on, isn't, isn't that what isn't that what Japanese boys do? I mean, Japanese girls compare breast sizes. What? Japanese boys compare dick sizes? Is that what we're supposed to do, fellow human? No? Okay. Hey, Mitsuru. Yes. Hey, Mitsuru. I was just walking with Jupe here, talking about comparing dick sizes. What's up? <laughs> Oh, it's you. <clears throat> uh, be careful on your way back. I'll be heading to the dorm soon as well. Don't stay out too late. <laughs> All right, I think it's time we go. You ready to get out of here? Yup. That's right. Cool. Let's get going. Again, I am. <laughs> <laughs> The car is all worried about him being a bad influence on me and so like, Oh, I just realized! Hi, Akihiko! Oh, check out the jocks on their run. Say, you thinking about joining the club? Let's see. Where was I last time? I think I was in the kendo club last time. So if that's the case, I'm gonna have to join swimming this time. This will be a little different. Oh, wait. New members gotta wait a while before they can apply. Your stop's at Iwatodai, right? Yeah. Forms, man, must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. Oh, absolutely. I tell you, every single night when I'm going to be in that dorm, I'm ripping off all my clothes and running down naked down the halls. Screaming at the top of my lungs. Wild and free, baby. Well, I'm going this way, so see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, best buddy. Well, hello. Welcome back. Damn, you beat me home fast. I left before you. I was too busy dicking around in town. How was your first day at school? Uh, not too bad? Yes. I see. Well, don't hesitate to ask your classmates for help if you need it. Oh, apologies. I didn't mean to keep you here. You've had a long day, so get some rest. All right, yeah, I'll do just that. Uh, I'd rather be told by Mitsuru to go to bed than Morgana. By the way, it's dangerous to go out on your own at night. Take this. Please refrain from doing so. Besides, you must be tired after today. You should make sure to get a good night's rest. Mitsuru, you're starting to sound like Morgana now. A little bit too much. That is a bright red pot. Ah, uh, getting distracted. Yukari! Oh, oh, hi, what are you doing? Nothing. Just looking around. Not much. How about you? This is literally all one single response. <laughs> Nothing. Just looking around. How about you? <laughs> literally just all one response. Good night, Tom. Um, just killing time, I guess. Well, you're probably pretty tired after your first day, huh? Maybe you should get to bed early. Hey, wait a minute. What's going on? The two of you seem really interested on me going to bed. 
right away. Well, screw you, I'm gonna watch TV. Let's see what's on TV. On to other news. No information has been re-released re regarding the apathy syndrome that has been on the rise. The Medical Association believes this may be a psychological disorder caused by environmental changes, such as... This board. Don't need it! Don't need to watch! Don't care! But there's literally nothing else I can do, so it's just time to go back to the door. Fine, everybody wants me to go to bed. I'm just gonna bed. I'm going out for a bit. I'm sorry, who is this middle-aged man and what has he done with Akihiko? Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. My good sir, your balls dropped like a fucking pair of lead balloons. Jeez. Teenager with a baritone voice like that? I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. Yeah, so far all the new voices have been doing a great job. I'm hearing the original characters coming through with them. Akihiko, however, is a little bit jarring. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay out there on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko. Wow. I remember when she said that exact same line in the original. The delivery this time, I think, is so much better. Before, she was, like, chastising him, like, this isn't a game, Akihiko. Now, she's, like, saying it as, like, a con like truly concerned. Like, for his well-being. I think I'm gonna like this. I think I'm gonna like this uh, new take on a lot of these uh, characters and their deliveries. I can hear people talking. Wait, so this is gonna be the, oh. I, well, I guess I, mm. And again, I'm comparing to the original. And the original, when you walk up to the school, that's when you overhear students talking. It's before you go inside the school where you see bright sunshine and the cherry blossoms blooming. But now we're just in the shoe locker area. Oh, well. It's not that big of a deal. Hey, have you heard the rumor about, uh... What was it again? The bathroom! Hold up. That's old news. Besides, it's just a ghost story, not a rumor. You're talking about the one girl, right? The second year? She stopped coming to school and just sits around staring at walls all day long. Whenever her mom tries to talk to her, the only thing she says is, It's coming. It's coming. What? Is that really how the story goes? Eh, whatever. It's probably all made up anyway. Some disturbing rumors seem to be spreading around the school. This is... I, I remember that when comparing Persona 3, 4, and 5, I think 3 probably does the best job at kind of hooking you as early as possible. Because 4 and 5, well... Five definitely gets you in there because of uh, the school and the teachers, especially Kamashita. Four takes its time a bit. Here, though, it's just like, oh, yeah, there's rumors going around and people are suffering from apathy syndrome and talking about it's coming. It's subtle, but it works. I like it. The first spell is wrong. I'm late! Well, I said first bell. Maybe there's two bells. Okay. First to say you better get to class. class. Mysterium, man! 
And now we begin class sessions. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kasai. Oh, why him? I've been more interested in Toda Kaneko's work lately. His essays are fantastic. He's also a famous haiku. I wonder why all this is in the textbook. Well, I guess I'll just bring his book next time. Speaking of haiku, they often use words or phrases related to seasons, but it's easy to get them mixed up. For example, you'd think tasty bamboo shoots and vivid carp streamers would symbolize spring, right? Well, perhaps. Well, they're actually related to summer. Haiku poets usually refer to seasons based on the lunar calendar, making it fairly complicated. Hey! Hey, Yori, are you listening? Here's a question for you. Among these phrases, a rain of flowers, mystical mirage, and vivid carp streamers, which one symbolizes summer? What? Uh, uh, uh. Psst, Kanado, you were listening, right? Let a brother ahead. When going about your day-to-day -day life, you will, yes, uh, social stats by doing right things for friends, yes. But phrase symbolizes summer. Vivid carp streamers. Exactly. Yep, that's right. So you were listening to me after all. By the way, Mystical Mirage and a Rain of Flowers represent spring. Mirage is a natural phenomenon that occurs around late March to early June. And a Rain of Flowers refers to the spring showers around the time cherry blossoms bloom. It's not literally raining flowers. Make sure you remember all that. Our next topic is... <laughs> well, you know how much I like to pay attention. You're a lifesaver. Yeah, you seriously saved my bacon, Kagano. You're welcome. Jirai... Oh. <laughs> Classic. jirai -kun gave him the answer just now. I must have a good memory or something. No, I'm just actually paying attention in class. And literally only it's because Miss Toriyumi is teaching it. <laughs> I've become slightly more popular. Ever so slightly. Love me, damn it! Love me! Class is ended. I should head back to the dorm. Oh, it's just gonna take me straight here. Well, I suppose while I'm here, I'll have just a nice little bite to eat at Wild Duck Burger first, and then I'll make my uh, uh, oh. The Wutoai strip mall is bustling with activity in the afternoon. Wait, wait, no, where are you going? Where are you going? The other way! No! Wait, you're past it! Where are you going? Wild Duck Burger's right there! Oh. Oh! Oh, he's back! Hi! So, this is our new guest. Hello! I am the well-renowned and famous Kagato Jirai. Nice to meet you. Good evening. Hello. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. I see. You also look straight out of the 60s. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? Ikutsuki. Now, pretty easy. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Right. Where's the pun? I know you're gonna do it. Just do it. Please, have a seat. All right, what's this intervention? I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations. Oh no, it's fine, everything's fine. No, seriously, what's wrong? Is this about me running up and down the, uh, the aisles naked? Is this what that's about? Yukari, you've been telling people! But it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Wait, that's not even supposed to be my regular room? Is there anything you'd like to ask? Uh... Why are you here? Who else lives here? The other night I saw... <laughs> anything else? Yeah, actually, the other night I saw... You saw... something strange? Like what? Coffins, blood, green sky. 
Oh, right, right, right. Sorry, sorry. I wasn't supposed to tell anybody. <laughs> My mistake, Kari. You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. I drank two cans of monsters before I got off that train. I was not tired. Something doesn't seem right. Any other questions? Well, why are you here? To welcome you, of course. You don't mind, do you? No, so this isn't about me running naked up and down the aisles. Yay! Speaking of which, Takeba-kun, have you seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. But it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there anything else? Uh, who else lives here? There are only four students in this dorm. Damn, a building this big and only four of us to start with. And that was before I even showed up, there was three. Which means that, damn, Akihiko was the only guy here with Yukari and Mitsuru. And again, knowing him, he doesn't care. He's too busy punching things. You, Takeba-kun here, Kirijo-kun, and a third year named Akihiko Sanada-kun. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Ah, uh, no, I'm good. Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. All right, what's going on? This is now the third night in a row I was asked to go to bed early by somebody. And none of you are cats. I demand to know more. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Aha. Uh. Uh -huh. Clever, isn't it? Yukari, where did you find this man? Ah, <sighs> uh, peddling on the streets. Understandable. You'll get used to his lame jokes. I guess I'll head back to my room, too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. I literally have had no time to have any kind of recreational activity since coming here. I go to school, come back, and literally told him to go to bed. Good night. Oh, well, good night. Mm. I should listen to them and go rest in my room. Like the introvert that I am. Hello there. As I am now being <laughs> I am being monitored and watched by them. <laughs> it's the Truman Show all over again. I am their favorite network. I am their favorite entertainment. So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. Mm, what do you think, Mayumi? I mean, I'm cool with it, but if my parents found out... They don't need to know. Just drop them a text. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, this sucks. Meanwhile, in the middle of nowhere with people we have no idea about. <laughs> I'm serious. I was scared yeah, shitless. Right. Nice story, though. That was the base of Walkers, brought to you by KJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next week, same time, same place. The program you just heard was sponsored by Kirito Electronics, bringing the future to you. What? The time is now 12 a.m.
The dark hour approaches. The dark hour is nigh! What the? Sir, I had to break it to you, but you are done fucked. You are both done and fucked at the same time. What's happening to me? You also appear to be pooping from your eyeballs. You should probably get that checked out before you die. Up oh, too late. Oh no, he's dead. Hmm, he's still sleeping. Ha! Guess it's not a coffin. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. Yes, we know that. Why are you telling us this? During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Yes, we know this. Why are you telling us this? Then he must be. As you can see, he's retained his human form. Therefore! He may be asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. The ambiguous they. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Ah, uh, yes. Tune in every single night to the Kagato Jirai channel. All Kagato Jirai, all the time. No matter what he may be doing. Well, it's a good thing he's a well-mannered young man. Otherwise, uh... Boy, it, 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 it'd be very, very, very embarrassing for them to tune in and see him doing something... <clears throat> uncivilized for TV. Yes, sir. Actually, Yukari might have a problem with it. Mitsuru would probably just be taking notes like, mm, this is interesting data. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Ah, here we go! <laughs> oh, Igor, I'm back! Welcome to the Velvet Room. He has a new voice, but it sounds good so far. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Yup! I- yes, okay. Yup, sounding good. Sounding good. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Please, to meet you. I will be having a lot of fun with you too much later. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. <laughs> have you seen the contract yet, Igor? Have you seen the name? <laughs> oh, here it comes. That's the document I signed at the door. <laughs> From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return. What, start with this timey-wimey bullshit? Abide by your contract and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. Oh, don't worry. I take full responsibility on the bullshit I'm gonna place upon this world. All right, all right. <laughs> Hold 
on to this. Like, sure, no problem. This is perfectly fine. I don't have to question anything. I know what's up already. Until we meet again. It's only at that time he finally takes a look down at the contract. He's like, wait a minute. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Why does it say Kakuta Jirai on this contract? Elizabeth. <laughs> Not again. He's <laughs> like, well, I mean, the only way that I was going to save him was to turn back the clock, as it were. <laughs> Ah, uh, feels like I had a strange dream. Time to go to school. Morning. Yo, I'm so sleepy today. Times like these, the best course of action is a sleep during class. And that adrenaline rush you get from dosing off right in front of the teacher can really spice up your dreams. I mean, the last dream I had was of an old man with a long nose and, uh, in an elevator. I tell you, that was the spiciest of dreams. He really know how to use that nose. I know what you mean. Right? <laughs> it's real addicting, ain't it? After you build up the courage to do it once, you gotta try it again. And again, since I'm not listening to the lecture... I'm pretty much screwed later. Oh, but we have classic literature today. That means we're stuck with uh, Mr. Dacio Lakota. Lakota, Lakota, who was Lakota? Wasn't that plain teacher from before? No. Yes, it was! Ahem. I'm Mr. Lakota. I'll be your classic literature teacher. We'll be learning all about good old Japan through some truly great stories. Exciting, right? Now, some people say classic lit isn't relevant anymore. But oh, are they wrong. The students, the other teachers, they don't know what they're talking about. Nobody really understands it like they should. Everybody else is wrong but me! I'm feeling sleepy. As the teacher goes on an angry tirade, slamming on the pedestal, screaming at all the students, just spit and foam everywhere, going cross-eyed about how important classic literature is right now. Uh, I'm gonna close my eyes. Fuck you. <laughs> Everybody disrespects me! Oh! I can feel the teacher's glare as I start to <laughs> Seems like my courage is being tested! Yay! <laughs> so, I'll just go to sleep while he continues his... <laughs> his mouth vomit. Or his word vomit. I don't want mouth vomit. Oh, I don't want that. How's it going? Oh, yeah, it's oh, that was a good nap. How are you? Want to stop somewhere on the way home? Yes, Wild Duck Burger. Where? I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat? Wild Duck Burger, let's go. That's right. You're new around here. Uh, yes, but actually no. But actually yes. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. All right, well, oh yeah, Polonia Mall. This is Polonia Mall. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh yeah, you can rent out CDs too. Wait, CD rental? Wait, we're talking music, right? Not movies? And there's that club over there. Not that I've ever found it myself. Coward. Come on, let's go now. Oh, never mind. This place may not look like much, but I'm not complaining. Ah, uh, yes. To the happy punch machine next to the Hunt My Heart poster. Let's check out the CDs first. What? You want to buy a Hunt My Heart? Oh, whoa, that's new. Nobody wants the Jack Frost doll. I gotta try this. Let me show you my mad crane game skills. 
Oh, this I've got to see. Come on, Junpei. Let's see those mad skills in person. Damn it. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure you'll get it this time, Mr. Mad Skills. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> What's that? Is that embarrassment building up within your soul? Don't worry. I'm sure you'll get it and you won't eat your words. Come on. Put another couple hundred dollars in there and get that Jack Frost doll. I cannot leave an empty handed. I'm gonna look in the sack. All right, fine. But only if you give it to me, Love Roy. Yeah, that's it, yo. I gotta do this for you. One more try. Just one more. I hung out with Junpei for a while before heading back to the dorm. <laughs> Ah oh, man, I didn't get my Jack Frost doll. Oh. Welcome back. You are pretty late. I don't mean to be overbearing, but please don't make this a regular occurrence. I'm sorry, I didn't know that there was a fucking curfew. Well, in any case, you look quite tired. Why don't you go to bed early tonight? Oh, it's not because of curfew. It's because they are they don't want to keep waiting to tune into the next installment of Kamino Jirai Sleeping. Everybody's favorite program. Maps and shortcuts. Oh, one will display a map of the current location and shorts that will allow you to fast travel. With display, you can open it. Uh, you know, while you all are watching me sleep, maybe I'm gonna just wake up, stare directly into the camera that you're looking through, and just start jerking off right in front of it, just staring dead ass into it. How'd you like that, huh? Away. I guess there was a dorm mother here once who cooked and stuff, but it's just us students now. Maybe that's why we have such a nice kitchen. It seems like a waste not to use it. Yeah, it does. I yeah, I don't know that I'd really be able to make good use of it, though. And Kirijo's, Kirijo's senpai doesn't do stuff like cooking. But I don't feel kind of bad if no one ever used it. I'll use it! Hold on, Mitsuraga. All right, I'll talk to you first. Oh, right. I must say, the moon looks quite stunning on this hazy spring night. Though tempting as it may be to spend a night such as this gazing at the sky. I suggest you head to bed early and get some rest. Don't worry, there will be more full moons. Oh, tonight's the full moon. That's why. Especially, that's why, okay. That's why she was mad because I was late on a night of a full moon. It makes sense now. You know what, Mitsuru? I apologize. You were actually- You actually were just nonchalantly just trying to look out for me. I apologize. I just realized the fucking shine on those boots. My goodness, woman. Those are some- Those are, those are some face-stomping boots. My god. Anyway, the kitchen. Was this in the original? I don't remember. The kitchen looks spacious and practical, but it seems as though we can't use it yet. Mm. Fridge, maybe? The fridge is stuffed full of food and ingredients. There's a notice inside the fridge. Next fridge clearance date 5 2. 2nd of May. The fridge must. Uh, the fridge might have space on this date. Okay, was that near. I just. I can't remember. It really, I mean, we're talking like 10 years. We are talking a decade here. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta go to the bathroom. Men's room. Up, oh, and we gotta watch the TV. We gotta make an habit of that. Always watch the TV, always go to the bathroom. I can feel my mind starting to wander as I wash my hands. Whenever I see cherry blossoms in full bloom, it feels like springtime has finally arrived. I had to do it. <laughs> I had to do it. <laughs> Let's see what's on TV. 
Hi, I'm Trish, but today is the installment of Who's Who. Today's subject is a very dependable looking 20 year old woman. Her sister is a camera woman, and I heard she got her camera from her mentor. Next, new, next is news, pain, pain, go away. Well, that was a quick segment. All right, well then, good night, everyone. I suppose that since everybody keeps telling me to, I must go to bed right now. Right now. And so, I go to bed again. Hmm? What? Ah, I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because I haven't gotten used to living here. Just who was that old man from the dream I had last night? And what was that contract all about? Questions that don't need answering. Screw that mess. I'm going to bed. Bleh. And now the fun begins. <laughs> How is he? <laughs> what the? What the hell is he? <laughs> I'm just all sprawled out, just wide arms, spread legs. I am just on display. <laughs> Ladies, are you getting what you paid for? <laughs> Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Oh, to be able to be so good to... <laughs> Uh, to be able to actually just... I, I'm, I'm no good with animation with 3D models or anything, but imagine if I was good enough to actually have him slowly move that left arm over to his crotch area. I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, Disorientation. And the, the funnier thing is that I'm doing it, they're not paying attention. <laughs> this subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. Here they're talking about the plot, and I'm talking about jerking off. Welcome to my channel, everyone. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Hey, yeah, Yukari, don't worry. It's not the first time. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? I miss legs for days. Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but... Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? <clears throat> You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I kind of ran up and poked it and called it names and it made it very upset. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. I'm bringing it with me. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be living with us now. I'm gonna take good care of it. I'll water it, I'll feed it, I'll take it for walks. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman. That's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. Akihiko! Ugh. I don't think I'm gonna be wanting to keep him anymore. He bit me. Ugh. Right on the arm. Ugh. Just trying to give him a biscuit. <laughs> I'm alright. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada-kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Ah, ah the kaiju-sized one! What was that? You've gotta be kidding me! 
Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Uh, okay. Ah, all that noise going on outside. Why is the whole building trembling? I should check out what's happening outside. I am up! But I'm naked! The joke's There's on you. No time to explain. We have to get out of here now. The joke's on you, I wasn't, but it's still. Okay. We get loping? What's going on? Hurry! To the first floor! We'll leave through the back. Oh, wait! Take this just in case. Yukari, I've got a question. A very important question. But I'll ask it later. Okay, let's go. All right, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Y yes, I hear you. Uh, Yukari, are you talking to voices in your head? I do that all the time, too. Be careful. There appears to be more than one enemy. The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. What? Actually, I wonder if maybe that's like a full intercom and not just something that's like an earpiece. <laughs> um. Uh, oh, let's pull back. Hey, that was the door we were about to exit. Woo! That would have been hilarious, wouldn't it? It's like, oh, we're safe. Oh, we're dead. What are we gonna do? It's at the front door. At Ikari, actually, that's the back door. Should we go upstairs for now? Oh, might as well. Let's go. Wait, Arbitsu and Akihiko fighting this thing? This is another thing. <sighs> there are two things. All right, let's get away upstairs. Good idea! It can see through walls. It knows where we're going! We need to calm down. It's gonna be okay. Getting to safety is our priority now. Sorry. Sorry, I know this is sudden and you were sleeping. I'll pro I promise I'll explain later. Damn, that's gonna be a lot of cleanup we're gonna have to deal with later. It's getting closer. Keep moving, hurry. Don't tell me, Twisco! Right, if we go out through here, then... <sighs> ah, yes, the safety of a dead end outside. We're perfectly safe. The thing was able to bust through a locked door downstairs. But surely this is a super lock. Huh? <sighs> or I could forego the locked door entirely and just climb up the wall on the outside. I don't suppose you're here to give us a hand, now are you? Oh! That looks That's dangerous. It. One of the monsters that attacked us! They might tell you not to run with knives! Yukari, you're supposed to point that the other way! Yukari?
Suicide is bad. Think of your future. Oh. It's here. <laughs> Wait. Yes, it's all coming back to me now. Go on. Oh, fuck it. Let's do the time warp again. Persona. Emo Jones is back, bitches! I am thou. Thou art I. From the sea of thy soul, I come. I am Orpheus, master of strengths. Just as we thought. He's so happy too. Never mind. Jeez, oh god! Ow! Oh man! That was vicious! The shadow's like, did that motherfucker summon a persona that summoned a persona? Crush it! Crush it like the overripened peach it is! Akihiko side, the slack jawed confusion on Akutsuki's face, like, the fuck? <laughs> what on earth was that? Duh. <laughs> I wish I could tell you, but I have no idea. <laughs> Ask a stupid question. No, G get away from me. Ah, don't worry. I got this. I need to protect her. Yeah! Oh, shadows. Did they break off from that other one? <laughs> One, it's good to have regular original shadows back again, and two, mass destruction. We gotta get to the climax. Oh, we gotta get climax song. Oh, 
Oh, I love it. They updated the song, but it's still mass destruction. My favorite of all the battle music of this entire series. Ah, I'm glad it's still back. However, I have one small bit of criticism. When summoning a persona, he doesn't twirl the gun in his hand anymore. Or that's gonna happen later, we'll see. Either way, the monsters are gone. Blah! Sorry, sorry. The roof tastes fantastic. Mm. Just like failure. Are you okay? Oh, you'll be fine. Don't worry. As soon as all the wounds heal up and I stop bleeding internally. Oh, come on. Yep. The blood is rushing to my head. Blacking out, blacking out, blacking out. Can you hear me? Oh, say something. Oh, shit. I haven't been talking this whole time. Oh, God. It's all in my head. I'm worse than I thought. Blah! It's so good to see you again. <laughs> I imagine his eyes are even more bloodshot as he says that with that smile. Like, I now who know who you are, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Oh, is that what happened? I thought I died. I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. It is very interesting. After all, I did model your chair after the very harp that Orpheus uses. You could say that it was... a foresight. That was the power of Persona. The manifestation of your psyche. A persona? <laughs> A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. Or crush a card or rip a mask off of your face. Whichever. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. A mask? Where a mask? The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bonds. Look at a mask, does that make me a phantom thief again? As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona ability. I literally just fought a monster and started to pass out the ground and you're dumping all this on me now. Please remember this. Now then. Time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. Bye, Igor. Listen, you didn't say a damn thing at all. Bye. <laughs> My head is getting clearer. I can feel someone's presence beside me. Hey, you are here. Hello? Where am I? Who are you? What's going on? How do you feel? I feel like I got slapped by a bunch of hands. 
Where am I? Thank goodness you finally woke up. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. What? Oh shit, no wonder everyone was telling me to go to bed early. Damn. Hey, um... But yeah, you okay? I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. Nonsense! You are absolutely helpful by doing absolutely nothing, because by doing absolutely nothing, I was able to tap into the powers that I had, therefore, you helped by helping me help you! Yes! But, wow! That power of yours was really something! Yeah, I didn't know Persona Personas can summon Personas, huh? What'd I do? <laughs> <laughs> And that power you used, we call it Persona. I remember what happened! And those creatures you defeated are shadows, our enemies. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. The doctor is about to come inside and he just stops short just because the conversation's going on. And then he's like, Aha! So the patient is experiencing something in relation to a enemy called Shadows and Personas and alright, Nurse, we're gonna need to have the cherry places. I, uh... I wanted to tell you something. That seems to be the common occurrence with you. Every time we talk, we end with you saying that you need to tell me something more. I can kinda relate. To you, I mean. Really? You find yourself in a constant time loop, experiencing completely different parts of Japan and having to deal with personas in all different kinds of ways, over and over and over again, unstopping, unrelenting, having to say goodbye to your friends and loved ones again and again as a spiral of complete madness consumes your life! My dad died in an accident when I was little. Oh. That's what you mean. Right. And my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. Ooh. You're all alone too, aren't you? Yeah! Yeah. Everybody I know and love leaves me before I become another person in another part of this world. To be honest, I already heard about your past. Oh, good! I don't need to talk to you about the clouding accident. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine, too. This was a while ago, but... There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kinda panicked. That was my first time facing them too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. No, it's alright. We'll eventually have you sh uh, metaphorically shoot yourself in the future, and then everything will be fine. I was scared too. <laughs> really? But still. Exactly. It's okay to be scared. After all, courage is not having a lack of fear. Courage is being able to have fear, but still try to overcome it. Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. It's okay. I had a big dump of exposition when I first closed my eyes. It was just come full circle. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. That's nice of you. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. Alright, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. 
They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. Oh, I can literally just get up and walk out? Cool. See you. All right. I'll just get myself. Uh, you know what? No, I'm going to lay here for a little bit longer. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm so relieved now that you're out of the hospital. Don't push yourself, though. Do you want to get some rest? Don't worry. Your room's safe now. Hey! Karisha Senpai said that she'll be late today. I guess she's processing some paperwork for you. Hey, try not to overdo it at school tomorrow, okay? Oh, I gotta go to school tomorrow? Oh. I had an entire week off, and I was too busy sleeping! Let's see what's on TV. And all the Taurus families have had a wonderful spring. The attraction will remain in operation until May 5th, the last day of the holidays next month. Tomorrow is forecast to be a great day for fun. Why not participate in some outdoor events? Up next is today's exchange rate. Click! I don't care about that. Wait, seven days? I better use a bathroom. <laughs> well, will I say anything different now? That's, that's, that is the question. I feel my mind starting to wander as I wash my hands. Whenever I see cherry blossoms, nope, it's the same thing. I suppose I will always think of the blooming cherry blossoms every time I wash my hands. Rest for the day, yes. There's nothing else I can do. Nothing more. Saturday. Yo. Yo, long time no see. What's up? Did you have an upset stomach or something? Anyways, I got something to tell you. Aren't you full of energy? <laughs> He's Junpei. He is Mr. Energy. Hey, you totally thought I was a pain in the ass just now, didn't you? Whoa, calm down, Junpei! I was just saying how much energy you've got, man! Uh, my, my bad. I'm not the same person as I was yesterday. Uh, just forget all about the old Junpei! Anyways, uh, just for always making everything... Uh, anyways, just for always making everything about me... You should cheer up, too! After all, you've got a friend in me. Da, 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 da. Sheesh, someone's full of energy today. I can hear you from all the way over there. Huh? huh? You two didn't come to school together even though you're in the same dorm? Are you stupid or something? Ugh, I've heard enough about that. Anyway, Dracoon, are you feeling better? Sorry to hit you with this so soon after you've recovered, but the chairman wants to talk to you today. Head to the dorm after school and come up to the fourth floor. Don't forget, okay? What? Uh, hold up! Why are you being called out by the chairman? What the heck did you do? It's not like that. It's nothing serious. Come on, we're gonna be late if we just stand around here talking. Afternoon. Oh. Can we call it a day? Samurai man! Mr. Otto! That's enough about mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. Well, that wraps it up for the Stone Age. <sighs> I'm tired of these lessons about fossils. I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history is not exciting enough until then. But it's what I'm paid to do, so here we are. It's not easy being an adult. Next is the Jaman period. When do samurai get their day in the sun? I'm so. I'll just ask a question at random and call it a day. A dry coon! Yeah. The places where people dumped their waste in the Jaman period, uh, what are they called nowadays? Boneyards, minnens, hovels? Minnens? Minnens? That's right! Ha <laughs> They're called middens. The world the word is Scandinavian in origin and Scandinavian Scandinavian in origin and means dung hill. 
That... that didn't work. I'm still not interested in this at all. So far, we've got... Uh, this is why... this is kind of why I like this school the most. Yeah, Persona 4 also has a lot of quirky teachers, but... These teachers all seem to have something that they're really, really passionate about, and they're looking forward to it. You got Miss Toriyumi that's uh, going over some uh, subject, and she's looking forward to going into a different person who's not even part of the textbook. And then Mr. Ono here is just like, all about the samurai. He cannot wait to talk about them, but he's forced to talk about everything else because he has to. <laughs> it's his job. Uh, I want to get to the age of katanas. Everything else is so tall. He's he's a weeb that literally became a teacher. Like, I want to talk about samurai and, and katanas and martial arts. And, oh. When you have a teacher that, that's, that is that passionate about a subject, not only do you know that you're in for an actual fun time in class, but you'll probably always remember it. Because when you have a teacher that is just teaching for the sake of teaching, it's all just gonna go bye-bye. Just gonna you know, just leave, go through one ear and out the other. You gotta do your test and then forget about it. But when you deal with somebody that's really passionate about a subject and really puts their all into trying to teach you that subject, it's really memorable sometimes. Unfortunately, I never really had that many teachers that were like that. Only a handful. Everyone in class is looking at me with respect. Yes! Gaze upon your new master! Charm is plain, academic slacker, courage is timid. Oh well. Uh, hey. Let me guess, something you wanted to ask me? You wanna walk home together? Huh, okay. Sure. We live in the same dorm and all, and I've been a little worried. Okay. What if you pass out again on the way home? That is a very good point. I only have been out of the hospital for a day. I feel responsible for that, you know? Let me make it up to you. Come on, let's go. Sweet, okay. The cherry blossoms outside the window look so good. Yep, absolutely no passing out on the road this time. I'm glad you're feeling okay now. Well, I guess I'll head up first. Right, Chairman, right. Like I said this morning, meet me on the fourth floor. The Chairman should be waiting for us. Alrighty. Let's see what to wear. Eh? If you wanna go ahead, free to Huh? What's that thing shining on my bed? Twilight fragment? Huh? I haven't seen anything like this before. I should hold on to it for now. It's shiny and pretty and I it's mine. I wonder how much it's worth. <laughs> Probably nothing. <laughs> All right, up to the top floor we go. Oh, no, no, wrong one. Oh. Ah, there you are. Hey. Come on, they're waiting for you inside. All right. Ah, there you are. Ah, there you are. Ah, there you are. <laughs> Sorry, we have a repeat. <laughs> Looks like you've recovered. I'm glad to see that. All right, Mitsuru, your turn. Ah, there you are. <laughs> there are some things I need to discuss with you. That's why I asked you to see me so soon after your discharge from the hospital. Uh, please, have a seat. All right, I'll sit furthest away oh, from everyone. Before that. The, uh, the platinum-haired person that's sitting next to you does not seem all that friendly. Wait, is this another intervention? Why is everybody staring? Okay, Yukari and uh, Ikutsuki are fine. They're looking at me like normal people. Um, Mitsuru looks like she's very disappointed in me, and Akihiko looks like he wants to punch me. I believe I mentioned his name before, but this is Sanada-kun. 
Hey there. Oh. All right. Now he's smiling. <laughs> Grr. Let me start off by asking you this. Ah, hey there. Yes, let's be friends. Grr. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? That's when I slap my knees, start standing up and be like, All right, I'm gonna head out. Excuse me? <laughs> That's a reasonable reaction. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Yes, I know. I know. Don't remind me. Do you remember the night you first arrived here? I remember the night I first arrived here. I also remember the night I first arrived here. Firstly, first, ten years ago. You had to have noticed the signs. Street lights going out, things that stopped working, the inexplicable appearance of coffins. Oh shit, is that what's going around? I thought that was the norm here. With so many things amiss, didn't it feel like you'd stepped into a different time? Not at all. I felt like I've missed out on the vampire festival. That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. Between? Betwixt? It occurs each night as the clock strikes 12. It will happen tonight and every night to come. Forever and ever and ever? Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. But that's not what makes the Dark Hour so interesting. You saw them. Those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the Dark Hour and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? A little bit. Akihiko, why are you always like this? He takes his job very passionately. You just got hurt the other day. Now, now, he does his work well in any case. I'll get to the point. We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. Seize, for short. Ah, yes, I seize what you did there. On paper, we're classified as a school club, but in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the Shadows. Mitsuru Kirijo-kun is the leader, and I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. Wait, so if this is supposed to be like an after-school club and you're in charge of it, does that mean that the principal that, that, like, the principal knows about this? Do other faculty members know about this? Is a job worth doing? If it's worth doing well, man, know all about this. Is he funding this? Apathy syndrome. I'm sure you've heard of it. We sometimes refer to those who suffer from this as the lost. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Forgive me for asking a really stupid question. What about the police? Unfortunately, the police can't do a thing during the dark hour. Yeah, yeah, they're in a coffin. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight shadows. That's known as Persona, the power you called upon the other night. Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. That means you are the only ones who stand a chance against them. The only ones in the entire world. The only ones. Ever. I see! I'm glad you're quick to understand. Uh, yeah, that's not my first rodeo. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. Ooh, do I get to wear a skirt and attach that to my thigh too? All right. Ooh, <laughs> I was afraid you'd say no. 
Hey, if I gotta suffer through this time loop, I might as well just get right to it, huh? I'm glad to hear you're on board. Thank you so much. Truly. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Yes? Why don't you just stay in the room you have now? Okay. I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> well, great. I guess that solves that burning conundrum of what room will I eventually be in? And it turns out the room was the friends we've made along the way. <laughs> Hold up. But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. I joined C's to fight the shadows. Yay! Oh, I can hear a voice from inside my head. Oh! The fool! I am that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Break up! I feel my inner strength growing. I recall what Igor said about the power of social links. Well, that's all for today. I'll follow up with you regarding our club activities later on. The way you said that gives me a bit of concern. Certain terms that have been displayed before the- Oh, check the- I'll get- <laughs> Dictionary stuff, yeah, I'm good. I apologize for gathering you all here on your precious day off. It's Saturday. It's not our day off yet. Tomorrow is Sunday, so take some time to relax. Well then, shall we end this meeting? You know, because it's the weekend. Shall we end? Shall we end? Get it? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Hi, how have you been? Why? Why again? Let me sleep. I don't want to be haunted by you or any other spirit. But here you are! I'm always by your side. And that's the problem! Soon, the end will come. Stay here any longer and your end's gonna come. I remembered. So I thought I should tell you. Wait, no, no, I said that wrong. Wait, no, stop it, no! I don't care, go away. Really? Well, if you say so- Get back under the bed where you belong, spoopy ghost! To be honest, I don't have much to tell you anyway. And why are you here and why did you wake me up? More importantly, it looks like you've awakened to your power. And what an unusual power it is. Uh -huh. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. This is going somewhere. It might even prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? Yes, a couple of days ago. Oh no, it's been longer than a week now, actually, hasn't it? Yeah, you are teleporting around and making me sign a contract! I expect you to honor your commitment. Uh-huh. I'm always watching you, even if you forget about me. It's okay, you're not the first one to be always watching me. I've had two girls and a middle-aged man watching me through a monitor for a while. Okay, then. See you later. Akutsuki's probably more like it is mid to late 20s, maybe early 30s at the latest. But again, these are Japanese people. 
they don't age once they hit 20 until they hit 60. So we don't even know how old he is. I'm sure it's somewhere on the internet. Hey, you in there? Ah, uh, maybe. Why? Uh. Looks like I slept till nighttime. Boy, they really weren't kidding. I was tired. Wow. I guess I really did need to be forced to go to sleep. If you are, could you come downstairs? Sonata Senpai's calling for us. All right. Well, is it a group dinner or something? Wow. Okay, he's here. Oh, what's this about? Okay. Aha. Whoa. Ah, uh, hmm. I completely forgot about the outfits and, uh... Wow, Yukari. Woo! Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm looking stylish too, and so is Akihiko, but damn, girl. How? Thanks for coming. There's someone I want to introduce. Hey, hurry up. Just a second. Junpei? Why are you here? Everyone's favorite! Junpei Ori, ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a hand. Don't tell me. This is Junpei Yori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here from now on. <laughs> What's up? Hey there, best buddy. What's going on? He's staying here? Are you sure there wasn't some mistake? I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help out. Really? You have the potential? I like how Yukari isn't being berating here. Like, how she wasn't the original. She's like, what, really? You have the potential? This time, the... Uh, the she says the exact same thing, but the delivery is different. It's like, really? You had the potential? Like, a, like actual surprise. So that's why I have a feeling that this Yukari is going to be hopefully cross figures better than how she was portrayed in the past. He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. <laughs> but he said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Do you guys know that? Uh, didn't happen to me. I thought everything was normal. <laughs> hey, what's with the tough guy act? <laughs> He's like, yeah, everybody must have done that, right? Everybody, everybody must have done that. Cried. Right? You should know about it, since you're a Persona user and all. All right, he's definitely all in on me. Yeah, he knows. Man, I still can't believe it. I had no idea you guys had this stuff going on, too. I mean, I only just learned about it recently, too. I mean, uh, yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I didn't really want to be doing this on my own. You gotta be stoked too, right? Having me join? <laughs> I like how he's got that shitty grin. Like, eh? Eh? What? Uh, I guess. <laughs> at the very least, at the very least, he's trying. Well, enough of the introductions. Now that our forces have increased, I think we're about ready. Wait, is it time? Ooh, we gotta go do something? <gasps> it's time! Sweetness, I'm getting pumped. With this many people, 
We could start checking out that tower. Yes! Here it comes! Oh, you mean Tartarus. Go on, Junpei! Say the line, Junpei! Tartar sauce? What? Everything I know and love is a lie. It's a place that holds the key to understanding the Dark Hour. Or so we think. And the key. Huh. The chairman will give us more details tomorrow night, so be ready. Junpei, you had one job. You had one job. I want you off, Jupe! Yeah, yeah Randy kicks some ass! Don't talk to me right now, Jupe! You have one job! One job and only one job! Tartarus toothpaste! Hello? Did you forget? Did I already fuck up the time loop? Did I step on a butterfly or something? Did I ruin everything? <laughs> Tyler is <laughs> This game sucks. It's alright, Tad. Nobody should buy it. All the positive reviews of Metacritic are fake. <laughs> I'm so glad I was invited to join. Plus, the dorm's pretty cozy. Uh, wait, wait, what are you doing? Why are you crying? Anyway, uh, but the best part is that. We're the only ones who can fight these shy enemies. I don't really care. I don't care anymore. You fucked up the line. You botched it, Junpei. Come on. You can't be serious. We're basically superheroes fighting for justice. That's not the point, Junpei. I want my toothpaste. You couldn't even give me that. Part of the team too, so you should get your head. And why are you talking about toothpaste? You wouldn't understand, Junpei. You'll never understand. Huh? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I ain't got a single clue what we're supposed to be doing. Clearly. But I'm sure we'll find out. They did say that they'll explain everything. <laughs> I was about to fall asleep. I'm, I'm too tired to. I'm just trying to cry myself to sleep. Oh. Can I have a minute? Oh, Dobby Mommy's here. What's up, Mitsuru? Come to the room on the fourth floor when you get back to the dorm tonight. I have something to tell you all. All right. Mitsuru, you wouldn't happen to have any extra toothpaste on hand, would you? Oh, are we having that talk already? I'll save the details for later. See you there. Damn, he doesn't waste any time. She's not like us. She's busy, you know, with the student council or whatever. Oh, Yucatan, do I sense some hostility? Where? Hostility where? Where was any hostility? It's not that I don't like her, it's just... I don't know. I'm sorry, I didn't see any hostility in that. Okay, that was weird. Over. Uh, I've gotten over the toothpaste thing, Junpei. You are forgiven. They're probably waiting for us at the dorm, right? Let's hurry back. <laughs> Finally made it. Wait, made it where we're not back at the dorm? I can't believe the accident delayed our train so much. Already dark. Oh, never feel like 
That's what you meant. It's happening a lot lately, though. People jumping onto the tracks. Ooh. Oh, is that right? This apathy syndrome thing's getting out of control. It's like the whole world's falling apart. Crap! Everyone else is there already. You better hurry. Just tell them that literally the truth that there was an accident. We're late. Wait! Oh man, I'm getting kind of hungry. Yep, me too. Let's stop by. They can wait longer. It's small frost. So many places to chow down. Plus, they're open late. Well, Doc Burger, open late, you say? Why, of course. Have one now? Of course. Speaking of, I heard the ramen joint upstairs has a secret late night menu. Uh huh. Well, Doc Burger. Uh. Maybe next time. Gag, gag. No. All right, everyone's here. Sorry, we're late. Apparently, there was. Uh, apparently, we were attacked by the Persona Five intro. I'd like your undivided attention. Pretty sure that you've got everyone's attention and doubly June pays. He's probably, he's probably shivering with anticipation. For a long time, Kirijo-kun and Sanada-kun were the only Persona users we had. But that number has recently jumped to five. So here's the plan. Starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like us to finally begin exploring Tartarus. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, so I asked this yesterday, but what is that Tartar thing again? You had a second opportunity! You had a second opportunity! Oh! Jupe, I'm gonna struggle you! It's Tartarus. You seriously haven't seen it, Junpei? Uh, I mean... It's no surprise you haven't seen it. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour, after all. Only during the dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? The goal of our club, Seas, is to fight those shadows. However, Simply defeating shadows during the dark hour isn't enough. We must get to the root of the problem. We need to destroy the dark hour itself. Damn, we're going to be destroying an entire secret hour of time. Oh, Chronos is going to be pissed. Uh, I don't really get it. Well, you're saying if we run around Tartarus, we can somehow get rid of the Dark Hour? We don't know for certain. Sorry I can't give you a better answer. But investigating the mysteries of that tower is part of our job. The bottom line is, we need more information. Everything we encounter there will be a vital clue for us. The exploration of Tartarus is of utmost importance. Consider it our top priority. Our society, while remaining blissfully unaware of the shadows, is slowly but surely succumbing to their influence. Yeah, I kind of heard about the whole suicide jumpers on the train. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. I would go as far as to say that the fate of the world rests on the shoulders of you Persona users. That's one hell of a responsibility. But the heroes of justice will prevail. It's also the perfect spot for us to train and improve our skills. I'm glad that Junpei is having fun with this and nobody's really berating him for him, like, saying that. And literally, the very first thing said after that whole heroes of justice line is Akiko saying, Yeah, we can totally train, man. <laughs> that place is like a nest of shadows, you know. Whoa, their nest, huh? 
But Senpai, what about your injury? Akihiko's still recovering from his wounds. He'll accompany us, but won't participate in the exploration. That was, uh, that must have been a hell of an injury then, because we're talking about 10 days now since that happened? Yeah, I know. Relax! Oh, Junpei's got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. Not much point, anyway, since I can't summon a persona. That is weird, isn't it? Huh? We're here? Uh, what's going on? Why are we at school? Just wait and see. It's almost midnight. That thing erected faster than I do when I see my wife in short shorts. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? <laughs> what happened to our school? It's been devoured! Uh, my Tartarus. Once the dark hour passes, Everything will return to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? Were you expecting something like a beehive, Jinpei? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? I don't know. Why is there a dark hour where people can actually be found in coffins and there's blood all over the place and shadows and persona users? Nobody knows yet. It just is. Serious, serious, like, would you two please shut up just for a moment? I'm just trying to explain. I'm trying here. <laughs> you don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. If we don't know, we'll just have to find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, huh? There's got to be something in there. Hopefully some sort of clue about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be exploring it today. I know. You don't have to keep reminding me. So this is Tartarus. In any case, we decide to enter the tower. Just as crazy on the inside. Sure is creepy, though. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of these stairs. First, you need to get a feel for the place. Why don't the three of you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. I'll help you navigate by feeding you information from here. We'll also need to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. A leader? Like, the captain of a pirate ship? Oh, me, 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 me! I'm in! Me, 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 pick me! Sorry, you pick! Call dibs! <sighs> You're in charge. Yeah! I'm the captain of this pirate crew. 
Wait! Why him? He doesn't look like a captain! Wait until I put on my eye patch and hat. And then I'll show you. A yar har. Calm down. He has experience fighting already. Wait, seriously? Yeah? Once or twice? That's true too, but the main reason is far more simple. Junpei, and you too, Takeba. Can either of you summon your persona without difficulty like he can? Yeah, of course I can! Me too. These are shadows we're talking about. Without your persona, you're screwed. Except for the times that you're not, and you can totally take them on with just your weapons, but... I gotta be thematic about it. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready, leader? I'm ready! <laughs> That's the spirit. Time to go kick some ass. Time to punch some butts. Ah, the velvet key in my hand is shining. What's the matter? You know, I know I'm looking at the velvet room door, but Yukari's probably like, why is he staring at me like that? <laughs> Strange door sitting in the corner of the lobby. for you. Igor! Buddy! What's up? The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of something before you go any further. You must understand the nature of your power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Wild card. I don't want to know. Please, you must understand. It is of the utmost importance. I don't care if you've done this multiple times. As far as this universe is concerned, this is your first time. Therefore, you don't know a thing. I shall explain it to you all in very... Very long and agonizing detail. <laughs> Your power is unique. It is like the number zero. Empty. But at the same time, holding infinite possibilities. Slowly looking towards Elizabeth. Get me out of here, Elizabeth. Do something. You, my boy are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. Now then, my spare time will soon be scarce. Next time, once again, may you open the door and come here of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. <laughs> Until we meet again, farewell. Bye, Igor. I will deal with this door and I yeah, I remember this to them. I'm staring off into space This cup gone cross-eyed. I'm starting to drool Back. Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie brains I opened this door and Huh what door? The door to darkness? Ha <laughs> ha! Man, are you loco? 
A little bit, actually, yes. They don't seem to see the door. Have you been nodding off? You seem kind of out of it. I mean, apparently I'm extremely exhausted. I have been sleeping for entire days on end, and that still wasn't enough, because I spent almost all Sunday sleeping. Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. All right, all right, sorry. We'll be following you. Come on, let's go. Leader. The entrance to the labyrinth is at the top of the stairs. Whenever you feel ready to start, lead the way. Utilizing the menu. You can open the menu by pressing triangle. Accessing the menu will allow you to view you and your ally's statuses and personas, as well as use skills and items. While exploring Tartarus, you can save at locations where you can change your party. However, you cannot save on the floor you're currently exploring. You can save from the menu or by pressing that start button. Hmm. So this is Tartarus. Hell yeah! Alright, let's do this! I'll prove that I should be in charge! Uh-huh. He's practicing his baseball swing. <laughs> hey. Remember, Takiba and Junpei have no real battle experience, so make sure you back them up. Okay. Hmm. Don't worry, I won't push you too hard. You'll be just fine. And there it is. Alright. I think it's time. Time to go and explore Terrence!